I'm Lucy Sparrow and I'm an artist. We are here in the middle of Tampa Fresh Foods, which is my all felt supermarket art installation, where absolutely everything in the fake shop is made of felt, right down to the shelving, the fridges, the checkouts, and all the produce inside. I was approached by the Vinick Family Foundation and I'd heard of all the projects that they'd done before, like the beach and Art of the Brick. And they approached me to, to bring the felt to Tampa and I was just so excited and it's somewhere that I hadn't been before. I've made supermarket installations before, but everything here was made specifically for Tampa. So we have all local produce. Obviously there's some kind of crossover with the very common brands, but everything was made specifically for this show and this time and this city. I have been using felt since I was about six years old. It's a fabric that I find is so childlike and so cheerful and so colourful that it really transports people back to a time that was simpler when they were kids. And I think for that reason, I became so attracted to it and so um, stuck on that medium. I think when you come into shows like this, you have this feeling of nostalgia that you're transported back to a time where everything was a little bit more playful, uh, you didn't have so many worries in the world. And what I want to capture is the happiness and the simplicity of when you were a child. I think when you put a familiar object into a different medium and it suddenly switches its context around, something happens in our brains which, which make us have this, they just, you have this different attitude towards it, you have a different relationship with it. But what I found more than anything is when people come to see the art installations and because you can buy everything, people buy what they know, they buy the, what they're familiar with, which I find so interesting because it's, it's, you've already got that relationship with it. So it's the relationship with the art that you just wouldn't necessarily have in other art shows. And it, it needn't actually be even super detailed because we're so familiar with these items. I mean, if you put a real one and my one side by side, you probably, like, it, it obviously does look quite different, but en masse, the brain does something amazing where you, it all just blends in. You need so few details, especially with the branding. It started when I was a kid and I had so many ideas of what toys that I would like to play with, what, what ones that would be like my ideal scenario to see. And I just, I couldn't find these things in, in shops. I was like, my mum was like, well, why don't you just make your own? You know, you, like I taught you how to sew, just, just make something that you want to see. So I started making things like that and I was just like, oh my God, I can make anything out of felt. I can make absolutely anything that I can think of. I don't need to wait for some toy manufacturer to do it for me, I can do it. And so that really opened up my possibilities and it just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I would love to have like a full-time huge installation somewhere somewhere in the world where people can come and you know it's it's almost like an art theme park kind of thing where you know you enter someone else's world maybe it's like a whole world made of felt maybe it's a whole zoo maybe it's like a row of houses just something where you can just go and escape um, the real world and come to the felt universe.